you're looking to create a solder mask for pretty cheap to get your solder paste on a PCB, we have found that a laser cutter can achieve very good resolution. We picked up a sheet of this vellum paper at Michael's for about 79 cents. So this is a this is a very cheap material and um, it, it seems that the laser cutter just works really well with it. We can get quite precise. If you look really closely at U3 here, there's this little dot. Well, that dot is actually four dots and it was able to cut holes there. We cut these on a Boss laser cutter. First, before putting the paste on, just gonna clean this up, clean up the pads with some denatured alcohol there we go nice and shiny of course the next step is getting this lined up and this can take quite a while because you have to get all these tiny little components just right pull it on here with some clips so this solder paste gets you uh, store it frozen and then when you're ready to use it you bring it to room temperature so now I'm just gonna dab a little bit onto the places where we need it to go. All right, the moment of truth. I have to say, I'm very impressed with how this turned out. Even these USB-C, I mean, those pins are so close together and it, it was able to even keep these separate, which when it comes down to it, they may not even need to be separate. And I, I, over here, I when I pulled it up twice and I, you know, I let it slide back down, I think I may have mushed some of these together, but I think it's, it's distinct enough that when it heats up, that solder is just gonna flow right to where it needs to go um, so I, I mean I, I really think that this is gonna work and then I mean that BGA right there those that solder is exactly where it needs to be so I think um, next step is to throw this on the pick and place and uh, just as a, a note I it seems that if you just uh, take some denatured alcohol and wipe this off you can probably reuse it again. now it's ready to either put on a pick and place or solder by hand.